Vanikum Prem Namaste and humble salutations. I'm Shurdika Pillay and you're watching Sunday Sadhana on SABC2. In today's episode, we unwind, relax and bask in the simplicity of spirituality with an enlightening music video featuring the captivating Dharam Maharaj. But first, we celebrate 10 years of the Seva Siddhanta Sangam in Rylands, Cape Town. Brahma Shri Siva Subramanya Guru Swamigal, the founder of the Seva Siddhanta Sangam, emerged as a spiritual luminary in the 1900s. His philosophy mapped out a simplified spiritual path while still upholding the universal oneness of Hinduism. Since the late 1930s, the Sangam has flourished around the country and Sunday Sadhana joined one of the youngest branches, the Cape Town branch, celebrate their 10th anniversary late last year. With regard to Saivism in South Africa, we were blessed, South Africa was blessed to have in our midst a great Saivite saint, Veera Brahma Sri Siva Subramani Guru Swami Go, who introduced Saivism to South Africa. He was born in 1910, but at a very young age, he formed the Saiva Satanta Sangam of South Africa in 1937. He, together with a small group of devotees, disciples, taught them the basic philosophy of, and teachings of our great saints. It was always a dream of our master and founder to have branches all over South Africa. And I think uh, this dream was realized most unexpectedly and surprisingly when my parents relocated to Cape Town in the year 2000 and formed the Seva Siddhanta Sangam. The Sangam had its humble beginnings in Rylands and we are so proud to say that uh, over the past 10 years, the Sangam has grown from strength to strength. Today, we basically want to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Sangam. We feel that uh, the small organization that we are, with the input of the members and the devotion and the willingness to succeed, we have achieved so much in the 10 years. We want to celebrate this together with the Rylands community who have supported us through all our events, all our prayer functions, all our services. And it's also a way to bring Savism and our teachings and beliefs through to the community. The simplicity of our religion and our master's teachings. It's a very significant milestone in the history of the Saiva Siddhanta Sangam Cape Town branch. We started the branch on the 20th of April 2003 with just three families. Over these 10 years we have basically grown, developed tremendously with regard to the Tamil language, to uh, singing and also the wisdom that the Master has left behind us. Today, we feel privileged, we feel honored. We are in a, we are in a nostalgic situation now because we are celebrating our 10th anniversary in Cape Town. And since inception, we have observed every Saivite event. And we are blessed for every of our events, our spiritual head of South Africa, Swami Sivi Yogananda always flies down to be part of it and to direct us on our course towards God's realization. The Sangam is founded on the essence of Saivism. Our way of prayer is singing the praises of Lord Shiva. You know, we believe that by singing, by doing Seva, by offering your services, that's the quickest path to God's realization. And I think that's the essence of what um, the Sangam is about today. This is something really unique with the Saiva Satanda Sangam. And this is something I've told people which who couldn't believe. Every Sunday morning, our services start at nine o'clock. At precisely nine o'clock, all our branches will be commencing with the service. At precisely 20 past nine, if at that time it is a time for the sermon by the spiritual head or a guru, every branch will be having it. This is a unique uh, functioning of an organization. 10 o'clock, every branch will do the concluding prayer. We have 22 branches in South Africa. We have uh, branches in Kaiseran, Kauteng and Cape Town.
our vision is to continue propagating the work of Guru Swami Go and uh, basically exposing Saivism through the Western Cape. Our master has left behind a very simple path for prayer. Uh, I think teaching us that devotion and unconditional love is our offering to God. And so therefore we want to expose this, the teachings of the master throughout Western Cape and then also grow the membership of our branch. And that's one of our main visions is to grow the membership of the Saiva Sathanda Sangam Cape Town branch. And I think the most important thing is that Sangam, you know, generally means group or gathering or coming together. And that is what we do every Sundays. We observe all the Sangam's important functions, um, our Kathiwe Bibum, the important events in the Saivite calendars. And it just goes to show that no matter how big or small an organization is, if you have passion and drive, it will always be a success. Welcome back. Bhajan, be it a simple composition or sophisticated talas and ragas, is an expression of love for the divine. Prabhuji Sadahi Kirpa is a devotee's earnest call to God for his constant blessings and guidance on the path of righteousness. Today we have a special rendition of this beautiful bhajan sung by the talented Dhanu Maharaj from Dandi. Kirpa banai rakhna, 
कृपा बनाए रखना प्रभु जी सदा ही कृपा हम पे बनाए रखना Whether through philosophy or bhajan, our great faith certainly transports one to the world of divine bliss. The holy Tirukkural says, virtue alone is happiness, all else is else and without praise. Thank you for sharing your Sunday morning with us. Until we meet again, keep up the sadhana. Jai Shri Ram. सब एक बार मरते क्यों रोज ही मरू मैं सह पाऊंगी मैं कैसे गम के चिता पैसे खुद को जलाए रखना कृपा बनाए रखना कृपा बनाए रखना प्रभु जी सदा ही कृपा हम पे बनाए रखना